at, at height that I'm not going to even tell you how much he, 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 he stands. It's ridiculous. <laughs> at a weight, I'm not going to even tell you because that's even more embarrassing. Let me introduce to you the one and only, the Mace. My character as a kid grew up in the Bronx watching wrestling on television and he comes to grow up and realize his childhood dream of becoming a professional wrestler at the highest level. But there's a slight wrinkle. He, uh, he ends up being, he's very good at wrestling and they use that talent to help him develop other fighters. So he ends up being the guy who loses um, to make guys that they want to be winners look great. My character is this big megastar, superstar <laughs> wrestler, mm -hmm. and um, pretty much he has all the money, he has the, the jewels, he has the, you know, the big fan base. So Chad Deedy's boy, Derek Jeter, looked over to Chad Deedy and said, Chad Deedy, you are the champion and the lady. And the media icon that I've always wanted to be. So, Chad Eating looked over to his boy Derek Jeter and said, Chad Eating knows, Derek Jeter! Chad Eating knows! He, he's just, uh, he's just, uh, an a hole. <laughs> to clean it up. <laughs> but it's, you know, it's fun though. <laughs> the, the play belongs to Mace. Uh, even though it's called The Elaborate Interest of Chad Deity, you know, it's really Mesa's story. It's really his, um, uh, 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 it's, it's him sharing this journey that he goes through that, that takes, takes us not only through the world of professional wrestling, but also through this, this um, I think, this uh, 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 realization of how, uh, how kind of present both consciously and subconsciously cultural and racial stereotypes are in our contemporary entertainment today. I think they're, you know, sometimes it's really obvious and other times it's really not obvious and, and subtle. And, and so this, I think this play does a good job of reminding us of them. That's why Chad Deity is more important to Everett K. Olsen than Macedonio Guerra is. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not your name. In the wrestling, I'm known as the Mace. Yeah, the other name is too hard to pronounce. For white people. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. <laughs> for non-Spanish speaking no, Americans? No, 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 for wrestling fans. Wrestling fans do not speak Spanish. This play is just not, it's not about just wrestling. You know, this play is, it's a message and it's a message that we're, it's, it's pretty much what we're going through, you know, in America, you know. It's a story about how things need to get changed and um, in a society and how, you know, a lot of racism still occur. I mean, we've, you know, we've come a long way within these last, you know, few decades. But I would say that, you know, after the audience watched this play, I think that it would kind of open up their eyes a little bit more. I do think it's a very different sort of an audience experience uh, than what um, uh, is in store for a lot of plays. It's uh, very interactive. Audience is really actually another character in the show. And, um, you know, I, I think in that way, it's, it's, very, um, uh, it's very timely because I think, you know, there are a lot of things these days where, where, where participation is, um, is really important. And, and this, this particular show gives audiences a chance to be active in the event as opposed to just passive. So, uh, so there's that. I think there's also just this really interesting um, intersection of, uh, of, of sports and, and live theater, particularly in this case, live wrestling and live theater. And um, it's, it's, it's really fascinating, I think, how, how, many, how, how, how much overlap and how many threads there are between those, those two things that seem, on the surface, so very different um, and are very different in many ways, but also have a lot of similarities that um, that I think are, 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 are pretty interesting. Theater goers are surprised at what a great play it actually is. And they come in thinking it's just about wrestling, but it's really this really incredibly moving and, and thoughtful story. And then wrestling fans come in and they say, oh, well, yeah, this, this is kind of cool. Like, you know, they, like it's not everybody in 
powdered wigs and, you know, um, speaking in a different kind of vernacular. It's, it's like this is their world. And the, the wrestling fans that I know that have come to see the show so far have really have really been impressed at, at um at what what the designers and and the cast have done to really recreate that world that they're so familiar with and so so in, engaged in. Let's go to the videotape. You see, when Chad did he power bombs me, and it's happened a lot over the years. I allow myself to be bent over with my head between his legs. I jump up in the air when he pretends to pick me up. I bend my body in half and sit straight up and elevate myself into position on his shoulder. The Chad did he take some. He falls forward. That's my part. <laughs> he doesn't even do that to you. We have worked as hard as we can to make this show something that's going to be exciting and it's going to make you laugh. Uh, yeah, it's going to make you think, but it's not going to be oppressive. It's going to, it's going to be fun. Yeah.